Let's talk about contact. I was looking at myself then in the camera. Oh, I'm gonna fold that screen in. Contact forms in Shower 5. Not as hard as you might think to make. Super customizable. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is navigate to the page that we're gonna put the contact form on. So under the site tab, we're gonna to go to our contact page. And then I'm gonna click on this page tab and then select the canvas that we want to add the contact form to. So in our case, it's this main tab. Now I'm going to come across to this three dotted icon. If we just click on that, we want to add two new canvas views. So we just click add canvas view and then another canvas view. Okay, so canvas view one, that's going to be our contact form. And then when it changes to canvas view two, that's going to be our message that says that the contact form has been submitted successfully. So. If we just make sure view one is highlighted and then we can start constructing our form then. So I'm just gonna make a simple form with a name field, email address field, and then a message field. Obviously you can put as many or as little as you like. So I'm gonna come down to add an element. I'm gonna select the rectangle. And then this is gonna form the background of our contact form. So this is gonna just like create boxes. So if we just size this to roughly the size we want, Just drag that in a little bit the sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna change the color of this as well to like a more subtle gray. So if we make sure the shape's selected, I'm gonna come over to shape style and then just make it like a subtle sort of gray color. Next, I'm gonna add the text that goes over the box. So this is gonna be paragraph text. I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna drag that over the box and then size it to roughly the same. Maybe a little bit smaller. So double click on there going to highlight it and we'll, this will be the name field so we we'll just put name and then I'm going to put a star because this is going to be a required field which I'll talk about in a minute. I'm going to drag over to align them all so make sure we, we drag to select the two elements the box and the text field and I'm going to come across to align to group and we're just going to go middle and middle which is these two icons make sure it's all nicely selected. Next I'm going to click back on the text box going to come across to text properties and then enable input so i'm going to select required because i want this to be a required field so if we just tick that box in subject that would be whatever the person puts into the box that would show up in the subject of the email that you receive and reply to that's good for the email input box so it'll automatically reply to that email label as well this is what we're going to see when you receive the email um, containing the information from the form so we want this one to be name and then we're done with that first box if we just highlight it press command and c and then command v and you see we've copied them and pasted another one so if we just make sure it's all selected drag it down and then i'm going to paste another one in and drag that one down Obviously at this point you could set about lining everything up properly so if we just select the boxes we want to align to group and then we can do the same with the input fields. So next I just want to change this one from name so we're just going to put this as email and then again over to text properties let's put this as the reply to so we can reply to the email and we want to change the label as well to email. And then the same for our message box. So this is going to be a bit bigger. We want to just drag this down. And then the same for the box inside. Okay, we're going to double click on this. We're going to change this to message. And then the same as what we did with the email field. We're going to go to text properties. And then change the label to message. Okay, so I'm done with this part of the form. I'm just going to create a button now. So if we go to add an element again, we're going to go to rectangle. I'm just going to quickly add a button. So if we drag this over. Obviously, you can style this exactly how you want it. Um, this is purely just to show you a quick example. Make sure that the rectangle is selected. And I'm just going to change the color of that one too. So let's make it a dark blue. And then we'll put our text over it. 
and then in the textile I'm just going to center it and change the color of it so let's change the color justify it to the center and then I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and central to the button obviously the text a little bit lower here what you can do if you're not getting it centered properly you can just select the text come across the textile and then just adjust the line height so I'm just going to drop that down a little bit that's a little bit better okay so we're done with the button now as well so what we need to do is come across to our canvas view 2 then I'm just going to add paragraph and I'm just going to put a quick thank you message to say that the form's been submitted successfully. Okay, that's enough for now. Obviously, you can style this, put whatever you want up behind there. I'm just going to leave it pretty basic for now. Let's just center that. Okay, so if we come back to Canvas View 1, our form, and then I'm going to click on our button based on the rectangle part of it in the background. I'm going to come across to Click Actions. And then under the link, I'm going to put canvas this canvas and then canvas view next we want to leave these selected and then we want to click submit contact form and then we need to do the same with the text to make sure that the whole thing is clickable so we just apply the same sentence to the text canvas this canvas next and submit contact form Okay, so we're pretty much done now with our contact form, obviously. As I said earlier on, we'd need to style it all on mobile as well. Come across to Preview. And then, there we go, is our form. I'll just fill it in. And then hit Send. And there we go, there we've got our message showing up. So just close that preview off for now okay so it's also important to point out that if you're adding any more elements to this page and um, you'd need to make sure that view 1 and view 2 is not selected otherwise the elements would disappear or appear so say for instance we put a bit more text in over on the right of our page but view 1 was selected that text show up in view 1 so when we hit the send button the text would disappear same with view 2 if we had that selected and we put some text in that we wanted to stay permanent to the page, when we click the send button, the text would appear. So main thing to do is just make sure that's unchecked. If you do get something stuck in there, just drag it out into the main canvas. And that's it. We're pretty much done. The email that gets sent from this form will go through to the email that you sign in to show it with. It'll also keep a record of it if you go to your account settings and then you go to user profile and then there'll be copies of it in there too okay so thanks so much for watching if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below um if you're not already please do consider subscribing to see more videos like this and oh hit the like button as well yeah and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video see ya